थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू मान्य ए रहीम जी मान्य ऑनरेबल श्री हरीश वीरन जी फाइव मिनट्स थैंक यू सर सर इन इंडिया ओवर थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन लिव्स इन अर्बन एरियाज विच इज इंक्रीजिंग बाई टू पॉइंट थ्री फाइव परसेंट एवरी ईयर एंड सर बाई ट्वेंटी थर्टी ओवर फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ इंडियाज पॉपुलेशन इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू लिव इन अर्बन एरियाज पब्लिक यूटिलिटीज लाइक हाउसिंग सैनिटेशन ट्रांसपोर्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वाटर हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन आर अंडर हैवी प्रेशर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस अर्बनाइजेशन हाउर अर्बनाइजेशन हैज बिन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ सोशल इकोनॉमिक एंड पोलिटिकल प्रोग्रेस इट हैज लेड टू सीरियस सोशियो इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक पॉवर्टी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अंडर एम्प्लॉयमेंट अमंग द रूरल इमिग्रेंट्स डेफ्स द कॉयटीज बर्गलरीज बेगरी एंड अदर सोशल लीवल्स नाउ द आउटले सर फॉर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स वॉज अराउंड Eighty-two thousand crores in the budget, an increase. There is there is an increase compared to last year. The affordability of the tran transparent rental housing market is an important right, and a regulator needs to be appointed to monitor the scheme so as to ensure affordability for the industrial workers and the migrant workers, and also for the students who come to Delhi and other centres for their education. Sir, as far as the PM Awas Yojana is concerned. the flagship program of the government has failed to meet the demand and the slogan of the government that pakka ghar to all by 2022 remains only as a slogan there are no traces of implementation of the said project in my state of kerala homelessness and inadequate housing further burden public services impacting healthcare infrastructure and escalating environmental degradation issues such as urban heat islands pollution drainage problems and water crisis an important issue which needs to be addressed sir is the urban flooding sir by 2050 at least 30 indian cities will face a grave risk of water scarcity according to the various studies conducted by wwf india's urban population growth in water scarce regions is expected to surpass that of the other countries rising from 222 million to 550 million people by 2050 this will represent 26.7% of the world's urban population facing water scarcity flooding in india's urban areas has become increasingly frequent these urban floods result in significant loss of life and livelihoods in july a state bank of india report estimated that economic loss due to the 2023 north indian floods and cyclone biper joy in gujarat amounted to rupees 15000 crores sir urban areas are the centers of economic activities with vital infrastructure which need to be protected 24/7 in most of the cities damage to vital infrastructure has a bearing not only for the state and the country but it could have global implications major cities in india have witnessed loss of life and property disruption in power and transport therefore management of urban flooding has to be accorded top priority now sir there is a concern over the dearth of affordable rental housing options particularly to the student uh, po student population in indian cities it is a matter of great concern the dearth of hostel facilities in central universities and other national institutes located in metropolitan cities which compels the students to pay hefty rent due to no control or policies over rents charged by private individual landlords who monopolize the urban housing in indian cities i therefore urge the ministry of urban housing to build affordable rental housing facility particularly in major cities like delhi bombay bangalore hyderabad chennai particularly for poor students lower income groups and other needful categories now sir there is a need to revise the rent control laws which is completely outdated you have to modernize the rent control legislation to protect both landlords and tenants encouraging landlords to rent out vacant houses and sir as far as the reduction in allocation of funds for smart city projects and metropolitan transportation projects the government had initially planned for completion of the smart city project by 2020 but not and it has been extended twice up to march 2025 now it is seeing a 70% decrease dropping from 80000 crores to 2004 2400 crores and as far as funding for metropolitan transportation projects are concerned the essential for urban transit system has been reduced by 46.9% from 2051 crore to 
1090 crores. Therefore, I urge that whatever has been reduced in this particular budget, it has to be reallocated to the ministry. The particular concern which I have raised has to be particularly looked at. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mani Harish Virinji. Uh,